Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at another example on submerged surfaces. We'll be dealing with a gate opening in this one. So we've got a tank here with a gate embedded into the side wall. Um, the, the fluid is water at 20 degrees Celsius. The gate spins about an axle and there is a stop which prevents the gate from rotating anti-clockwise. We've got a fluid surface which is H above the top of the gate. The gate is one meter square and we've been asked to find at what level the gate will open and when h is zero what the force on the stop is. So the gate will start to open when fr creeps above that axle point. So our fr as the tank is filled will move up and up and up until it just extends beyond that axle point. So our uh, YR, this question is really asking at uh, what YR the FR will creep above that. So uh, YR will just be H plus 0.6 and we need it to be less than that. So we're trying to find when our YR is less than H plus 0.6. Now we know our equation for YR equals YC plus IXC on YCA. Uh, YC is the centroid of the shape we're considering. So the shape we're considering is a square one meter by one meter. So it'll be H plus 0.5 will be the YC. H plus 0.5. We need to find our IXC and our A. So our IXC is BH cubed on 12 for a rectangle. So that will be 1 times 1 because the base and the height are 1. So we'll just end up being, we'll be left with 1 on 12 for IXC and the area will be 1 meter squared. So that's our value for, for YR. Solving that, we get, uh, can't really simplify it much at the moment. But what we do from here is we throw it into that inequality we had from before. So here we have yr is less than h plus 0.6. So we're going to throw our value for yr in there. Uh, that should be h plus 0.6. So we can simplify that, we get rid of the h there. Uh, that will be a 0.1. Multiply that across, we can then simplify it down to h greater than 0.33.